Hello, I'm Ren, and today I'm going to go over how to make brows and eyelashes dyeable for your character. Um, this is going to be a tutorial that will work with any retextures or sculpts that you may have. Just make sure that they're installed in text tools before you export the textures. So for this tutorial, we're going to need some sort of image editing program. I prefer GIMP, not just because it's free um, and open source, but because it has a lot of functionality that Photoshop does not. Then we're also going to need text tools. Um, just as, this is just to export things, um, and so make sure, once again, that you have any sculpts or retextures or makeup that you want installed, um, already in text tools, just mods, import mod pack, and select your options. Um, after that, we're going to go to our, um, desired race and gender, and then go find our face number. Just for example sake, I'm going to do Makote male. Um, so we're looking for material, etc. A, A, um, which is the eyebrows and eyelashes, um, as you can see. And then we're going to look for the multi-map. Um, the multi-map st stores multiple types of information depending on what channel. Um, so for example, the red channel here stores brightness, um, also called ambient occlusion. Um, basically how dark something is, how close to black it is. Um, so basically this black and white map just stays black and white. Um, the green channel is used for how shiny something is, also called a specular texture. Um, the blue channel isn't used, so it just stays white. And then the alpha channel is used for any number of things, depending on race and gender. Um, sometimes it'll stay completely white and won't be used. Um, in the case of Makote male, I believe it is used for tattoo color influence. So if you look here, that section where it's white is the part where their clan markings are. Um, so if we go back over here, you can see that the alpha channel is white, so it would be more influenced by um, tattoo color. So that makes sense. Um, or maybe skin color? I don't know. One of the two. But um, it, it changes based on race and gender. Um, and if you ever need to reference that information, there is the text tools reference information spreadsheet um, here at the shader reference table. Um, if you just Google this, you can probably find an XIV guide link on it. Um, the material type that we are looking at, if we go to more options, edit material, we can see that the shader is the hair shader with the preset face. So that's this box right here, hair shader face presets. Um, we're looking at the multi-map, so as I said, red is brightness, green is specular intensity, blue is unused, and alpha is used for a variety of things. Um, so tattoo color, limbal color on all raw, ear clasp color if there's an accessory. Um, in any case, that's just for reference. So what we're going to do is we're going to export this multi as a PNG. Then use this little button in the bottom right to find it, and it should pop up with a window. So we're going to right click and open with GIMP. And it should pop up right here. Here we go. Um, you'll notice that the alpha channel is visible by default, so we don't get all of those nice colors, but let me tell you, they are there. And so what we want to do is you can see that the eyebrows are dyeable. Um, I've made them green just for visibility sake. You can see that the eyebrows are dyeable, but the eyelashes are not. Here, let's just go here. Eyebrows are dyeable, eyelashes are not. So what's the difference between the eyebrow texture? And you can see right here, the eyelashes are in that top right corner. What's the difference between the eyebrows and the eyelashes on the multi-map? Well, you can see that they're different colors. Um, for example, one has strong red influence. The dyeable one has strong red influence and also a little bit more green. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it more red and more green um, right where the uh, eyelashes are. So to do that, we're going to just edit the red and green channel specifically. So we're going to go to Colors, Components, Decompose, um, which will separate out the channels for us. We want RGBA because we want to preserve that nice alpha map. Give it a second, and look, there's that red channel that we were looking at and talking about. Um, I'm just going to take this little section right here with my little selection tool, maybe a little less selecty. Why did I set this? Oh, because I'm on the alpha channel. I'm, I'm really smart, I swear, guys. Um, 
But what we're going to do is we're just going to fill this with white um, so that it is completely bright and it's just the natural hair color. Um, and then we want it to be a little bit shinier. That looks to be about 50% gray. Um, what I can do is I can also just use our airbrush tool and then hit control to eyedrop tool it. Um, it looks about 50% gray, so honestly close enough. You can also just pick from here. Um, in any case, back to our bucket tool and fill that in light gray. Blue we don't need to touch. Alpha we don't need to touch. So now we have our edits done. And from here, what we're just going to do is, hold on, I'm going to check what's in the top right by using the normal map. Uh, that looks like eyeshadow. So we don't want eyeshadow to, to dye with um, eye color. Um, or sorry, not eye color, hair color. Um, we don't need bright green eyeshadow. I mean, unless you want that, in which case, do the same thing uh, in that section over there. But from here, we're just going to stick our image back together. Same way we took it apart with colors, components, except this time we're going to hit Compose. Um, we're going to select the RGBA preset and make sure red says red, green says green, blue says blue, and alpha says alpha. If it doesn't, you can just pick from this list right here. Uh, don't touch any of those channels over there and just hit OK. And we should get our image again. So we're just going to export it with File Export. Um, where should I put this? Uh, let's do... Projects, character, I'm just going to leave it in the character folder. And we're going to call this Diable Lashes, um, hold on, so Makote Mail is 701 base 0001 dot, and then the extension, you can name it whatever you want, honestly, I'm just naming it something random uh, that I will remember. Um, and then the extension here in GIMP is really important because it determines what file type. So, example, if you type DDS, it would export as a DDS, but we want it as a PNG. Going to hit export. And where it says automatic pixel format, make sure you hit 8 RGBA. Um, that will determine how many colors that it has, basically, um, and what channels it's looking for. Long story short, if you don't hit that button, it will crash your game if you use text tools. Um, I mean, you shouldn't use text tools just in general at this point in time, but, you know, just in case. Um, go ahead and export that. Then back here in text tools, we're in our multi-map. And import it from wherever you just saved it. Come on, don't crash on me. There we go. Okay. What the heck did I name this? Diable Lashes. There we go. So now we'll see that color's changed right up here. And if we go back to our model, or the eyelashes model, and we update the texture with the update text button, we can zoom in and see our eyelashes are now just as green as the eyebrows. Um, and actually a little bit greener. Um, you'll notice that it's slightly brighter than our eyebrows. I mean, you can really mess with that just to see how bright or dark you want your eyelashes, how much you want them to dye, how shiny you want them to be. It's all up to you because the knowledge is now in your hands. Um, in any case, once you're done, you're going to always, always want to do mods, create mod pack, and then just basic mod pack. Search for... Sorry. We're looking for Makote Mail. You probably only have one file if you've been uh, behaving, I guess, and not using text tools. Um, I have a separate install for text tools, so I just copied my game's files over and then pointed text tools at that directory. Um, so I can actually use text tools while I'm in game. Um, it takes up a whole lot of hard drive space by because you're literally doubling the game. Um, but it does really come in handy if you do use text tools often. Um, in any case, we're looking for face number... In this case, it's one. We're looking for the etc., uh, specifically material A, um, and we're looking for the specular texture. So we're just going to name this Diable Lashes Mikote, spell it correctly, male face one. That's it. Um, put in your author name, add a version because text tools will yell at you if you don't, and then create mod pack. 
already. And with that, as always, help start over. And then yes, because we like to keep our text tools clean. And honestly, I was due for a restart at some point at suit anyways. Um, all right. I hope this helped. And thank you for watching. Bye.